So basically what's provided now is screening to women who are 50 to 70. So these are well women without any problems who come in for an imaging study and um, either their breasts are normal and they go away well and continue on for screening in the following cycle. Uh, or we find a problem and we work that up. So that's how it works now. Um, and that would involve mammography. So women who are um, considered at high risk, we would actually be extending the program to include mammography plus breast MRI. So breast MRI is a very good tool for detecting breast cancer, but it's best in women at high risk. So these are the group of women who have a greater than 25% lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. These are typically the breast cancer gene carriers, uh, and on occasion, uh, women who've had radiation to the chest for treatment of cancers. Uh, these are the type of women who would fit into this, age group, into this particular screening cycle. Okay. Can you talk about the, the process and uh, how many people are affected in our uh, in our limb? Can you just explain that once again? Obviously, we have to you said go online and. So what would happen is the primary care providers, who are the family doctors, nurse practitioners, uh, possibly OBGYNs, uh, they would determine which of their patients might possibly be considered high risk. They can go online, the primary care providers, the doctors and nurses, they could go online to access the toolkit, uh, which would help them decide which patients would fit this criteria. Um, they would then fill out the appropriate requisition or order form for this, fax it into OBSP. OBSP would um, review the information and decide yes this patient fits the criteria or this patient needs genetic counseling to determine if they fit the criteria or no they don't fit the criteria and send it back. In which case if they don't fit the criteria that's great they're not really at increased risk they would just carry on with screening that would begin at age 50. Um, if they are considered high risk the screening would begin at age 30. Like you said this is obviously great news for our, our area uh, for Windsor-Essex. I guess your message to the public and I guess the women uh, uh, Get the get get screen and obviously. Uh I think the message to women is uh, twofold. One is screening does save lives. Uh, there is um, a message also that most women will not get breast cancer. So although we do need to be careful about making sure that we're getting screening, we should not have breast cancer hysteria. I, I think it's important to realize that we're screening to try and save lives, but uh, for the most part, screening is a simple procedure that you know you have your screening test, and likely you're going to go away and be absolutely. So we're trying to find those women where sm small breast cancers are detected. We have a great detection rate of finding cancers less than a centimeter, which means that they're very easy to cure. So we're, we're really pleased with the results of our screening program here. Um, however, having said that, uh, you know, screening is important. Uh, make sure that you do pay attention to your health, and um, that's probably it.